a luminous intensity, uh, yeah, it's the intensity of light, um, and then luminous flux uh, is basically, uh, you know, what is perceived power cast in all directions. So it, it could be, you know, the potential uh, that um, that an amount of light has. Uh, and um, there's a formula to calculate a luminous flux. It's given in the handbook as well. Uh, it's um, uh, I, which is the luminous intensity, uh, uh, multiplied by the area, the W and L are the um, the area of um, what the whatever is going to be illuminated, and then it's divided by the coefficient of utilization. Uh, coefficient of utilization, you can think of it as you know um, how much efficient a particular luminaire is, um, uh, and it's given as a percentage. Um, um, so. Moving on, um, let's uh, so st concept of steridian. Um, uh, steridian, this concept is not given in the handbook, but again, um, maybe it's worth knowing what it is. Uh, so basically, steridian is a solid angle uh, when a light source uh, with a luminous flux phi is uh, inserted into a fixture, shaping uh, the light into one steridian beam. Uh, and what it produces is basically um, a luminous intensity of one candela, and the area would be one in this case. Um, and it's represented by SR. The symbol for a steridian is SR. Um, so, for example, if you have a light fixture with a radius of R, uh, it would produce, uh, you know, illuminance um, over the surface area of R square. Um, and the solid angle is uh, equal to A by R square. In this case, it's one because um, the surface area is R square. Um, again, worth knowing uh, what, what steridian means. Um, I, I don't think they would ask uh, since it's not given in the, in the formulas. Um, let's look at uh, an illustration of uh, uh, yeah, the relationship between um, all these different terms. So this is a good picture that shows um, that. So luminous flux, uh, like I said, it's uh, it's the potential that a light has, like how much uh, how how much potential this particular bulb can have. And then luminous intensity is um, the amount of light that you know is being directed towards the surface. Uh, luminance, uh, which is usually given in foot lamberts, that's the unit, and it's represented by L. Uh, that's how much how much light is being perceived by an eye on a, on a surface, and um, illuminance um, is basically the strength of light um, on, on this particular surface. How much how much is being reflected and how much is being cast on this surface. Uh, so different units have different uh, you know different formulas. Um, we'll, when we do an example, we'll look into that. Uh, then the concept of initial illumination level, um, II, um, and this formula is also given in the reference handbook. Uh, it's given by MMI, which is uh, minimum maintained illumination level. Uh, the units for that is foot candles as well, um, which basically means uh, it's the minimum amount of illumination as recommended by applicable lighting standard. So that the MMI is uh, basically a recommendation by whatever standard uh, or you know, reference you're following, um, and then divided by the coefficient of utilization, and then there are some uh, depreciation factors. Um, as you know, uh, any luminaire could have uh, you know dirt depreciation factor with time. Um, there could be dirt accumulation on it, and um, its performance could degrade with time. So you have to factor in that, and um, lamp lumen depreciation factor, uh, which basically is uh, the depreciation factor of the luminaire itself as it you know, over, over the course of time. So initial illumination level II formula, that's the formula for it. Um, um, luminance we just saw um, represented by L, um, units are foot lamberts and it's uh, the amount of light perceived by the eye. Um, and then uh, let me go here. And then uh, the formula for MMI um, is also given in the handbook uh, it's the number of luminaires time uh, multiplied by lamps per luminaire and initial flux in the lumens times uh, light loss factor times coefficient utilization divided by the area of uh, working um, working surface in feet square.